everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. You can find us on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny. You can also find us on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. We're at the beginning of a thunderstorm, so you may hear a few cracks, and I'm sure you can probably hear the rain against the window, but I wanted to get in the craft room and goof around, and um, what I'm trying to do is make some faux rice paper labels. Um, I've seen other people use rice paper labels, and I love them, but I just don't... I just don't have the means right now to go and buy rice paper that, you know, for different things. And so I thought, hey, I'm going to try to make some that's kind of like it. So I just took some coffee filters. I literally just took five or six, laid them in a dish pan, and poured a little bit of remaining coffee that we had in the pot. And then wrung it out and let them dry. And then I just took my little craft iron and pressed them a little bit. Um, hopefully they're pressed well enough because I want to do some stamping and I did do just a a sample here to see you know if it was even going to work and I think it turned out pretty good so what I like about it is I love the texture for one and how it takes the ink and I am using the archival ink by Ranger um, in black and um, coffee uh, and I also like how you can kind of still see the picture behind it a little bit so I'm just kind of playing around with some of the ephemera that I laid out for my uh, painter's tarp uh, journal that I'm making. So let's get started. Let's try it out. Another reason I wanted to do this is because uh, I am not great at stamping. I just never have been. I don't even know what the secret is. I do see that some people have like a stamping pad that they that they use. It reminds me of one of those kneeling pads that um, I use in the garden, you know. Um, so I don't have one of those, but I did have this catalog that I've been getting stuff out of, um, you know, tearing out pages and stuff that I thought, well, it's cushiony and thick, so maybe that would work. Um, so I thought, well, let's just try some out. So I thought I'd lay them down. Um, I'm using, for the majority, Kathy's... Uh, Kathy's stamps because um, they they really do have like some of the labels that I wanted to use. This one is her fancy labels, so I really wanted to get some of these. And then um, from her junk journal collection, uh, or her latest collection, I should say, the sign here, it has some numbers, and I thought I would use some of those. And then... Um, a couple of her other ones have like little goodies like this has a little bird oh that's backwards um, little bicycle this has like a stamp here we go um, a little stamp so I thought I might use some of those so I got those out to play with and I probably won't do a huge amount of variety just because I want to I really want to more than anything just practice and make some that might be successful so um, I'm going to try not to jiggle the camera too much while I while I ink. I do have a few different blocks that I brought just based off size. I I just keep them in this little creamer. Um majority of them I have gotten at flea mar or thrift stores or flea markets. Although I did buy a round one and that's the round ones are the ones that I just didn't have and I thought that would be good for like bottle cap type or um let's see Kathy even has one with rounds on it I've got it around here somewhere yeah like this one so I thought a round one would be good so I did purchase that another thing that I keep handy when I'm doing stamps is I keep a little bowl of cut up uh wet wipes um I try to be as thrifty as possible so uh I cut the wet wipes up because rarely do I need a full wet wipe for you know, unless I make a big spill or something. So I cut the little ones up and then I just throw them back in the pack when I'm done. Did I even put ink on that? <laughs> My gosh. I don't think I put much. And I'm kind of wondering if this particular ink pad, I may have to choose, go to another one. I just bought another one because um, I was wondering about this ink pad. So we'll see. We'll see if it... 
if it has enough ink. And, you know, um, this paper is different. And so on the acrylic, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, it turned out okay. So I think I need to put a little bit more ink on it, though. Um, I, like I said, I'm not great at inking and there may, or at stamping, and there may be a different, there may be a different ink that's better for stuff like this, um, that's maybe a little wetter. The detail on Kathy's stamps are so amazing, and I know you've probably had stamps like that that have such great detail, um, that you just want to get it all, so... So yeah, I thought I would do a few of these. And then I'm going to cut them out with my little pinking shears or my scalloped shears. So you can see I'm heavy-handed pushing down on one side versus another. And I've had that's a problem I've had with any stamp I've used. I I need to be more mindful about going, you know, around better. So, Joey, is that you? Oh, sounded like someone was at the door. Hope it's not rain. Okay. Hope it's not rain dripping. Okay, so. Yeah, that one turned out good. <laughs> I want to try one more now that I'm on. I feel like I've got one down. Let's see if I can get another one. And I think it's a matter of, you know, just making sure that I press all the way around. So you can tell I'm not an expert at this because I get it everywhere. Oh, yeah, that turned out so good. Ooh, very happy. Um, and I'm going to do a quick cleanup because um, I don't know. I just I don't know what happens if you leave too much ink on something so detailed you know I don't know what happens so let's see if I can get some of that water off of there okay so I think I'm going to try another style before I ink in the middle probably won't be a really long video because I just wanted to get in here and check it out um, I do want to experiment a little bit more with it. Um, I don't have a lot of ink colors, and that's another thing is that I wish I had like a, I'd love to have like a pretty blue color. Um, let me see if I have one that's a little smaller. Yeah. I'd love to have like a pretty blue ink. Um, I have a red one. It's a really big, um, stamp pad and it's super liquid uh, so sometimes it gets it gets ink so deep that it's hard to get cleaned out you know and then it doesn't give a very pretty um, it, it kind of gives the opposite where as I've had trouble getting enough print it gives a big globby print oh my gosh this one's going to be so pretty I hope I'm doing this right um, I do like to kind of dab it on versus pressing it down in there, although I still feel like I need to clean out the middle when I do that. All right, let's see what happens. Well, so far I don't hear any major cracks of thunder. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get some more by doing it this way. I don't know. Keep, we'll keep, just keep experimenting. I'm sure that is Joey out there because he was dinking around outside working. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. And then it started raining, so he probably is out there goofing around. 
probably wondering where dinner is. <laughs> we were going to grill, but I don't think we are tonight. Okay. Oh my gosh, those are so pretty. I'm super, super happy with the, how that's coming out. All right, I think I'm going to fill this page up and then start on uh, filling in the labels. And you could leave the labels like this and then, uh, you know, fill them in as you go, like with whatever you have going on. If you, um, you know, at some point you want to put someone's name on it or whatever, you know. See, if I don't put these back, I, if I don't put these back, then I just don't know. It's such a disastrous mess in here. So, thank you for standing by. All right. I think, no, I do like that one. Let's, <laughs> let's get that one out. And I'm, I'm really liking the black. Uh, I guess I could go with, you know, go to that coffee, but I'm really liking how the black is looking. Seems like I did get a little bit more ink this way. I just hate to rattle you all with the camera by doing that. So let's see if I can get a nice ink, ink line here. I just love these these labels that Kathy has made. Love them. Oh my gosh, isn't that awesome? You can hear when I take it away how porous I is porous the right word I want to say. I think it is porous paper, but it's also textured so you can hear that as I take this stamp away so nice okay one more and then I think I'll find numbers or words or something to put inside oops Okay, <clears throat> we've kind of had a little bit of an easy, lazy day today. Um, I've got some uh, slip covers that I made. I think I mentioned that to you, that I made them out of painter's tarps um, on our love seat. And, and we have two love seats. And so I laundered a uh, love seat cover today, which um, they always turn out so nice. Um, just very easy to clean. Um, you know, they don't stain hardly. I, I don't know. It's, I don't know what's on that, uh, tarp, but I did when I, when I made the slip covers, I did put a, um, what's it called? A stain resistant on, but you know what? To be truthful, I've washed those things so many times. I, have a feeling that stain resistance long gone um so okay i'm just looking looking at some of these i see this little telephone here that i might use but let's let's see if i have these are kind of fun not kind of they are fun let's see if i can find one i think i'm gonna well let's try it I was going to say, I, was, I think I might try the coffee color, but um, I think I'm going to do black first. Journal. Let's try the journal. I think I might have, yeah, here it is, this long one here. Okay. These clear acrylic blocks are awesome for someone like me that is not great 
at stamping because it does give you that a little bit of that edge to be able to kind of see where you're oh that's gonna be too big well I'm gonna put it down here and cut it out since I've already stamped her up but anyways it, it gives you like just like that to where you see oh that's not gonna fit so all right let's look and see if I have a smaller word to put on here and then I'd like to get it to where I can um, what's happening yeah I'd like to get it to where I can put it on go ahead and put it on the ephemera where'd that go I want to get that vintage up here okay even these have a lot of detail in them I mean even though it's just a word they are like I don't know if you can see they're etched you know like they came off of an old printer it's pretty cool all right, let's see what happens. <laughs> it's pretty centered. Yes, look at that. Let's do, let's do one more. And then I'd like to put a little something on it as well. Like maybe if I can find something small. Beautiful. Awesome. I feel like my practicing is paying off. Practice slash patience. I think that is a combo that, <laughs> that I'm probably need to work on. So see how to put that in there and I have these little sorry take a minute I have these little what are they called like I don't know what these are called but they're like little wooden dowels and they have a little things that might be pretty on there like here's a little bird see that would be really cute yeah that would be really cute um if I had like maybe some blue would be sweet yeah that looks cute okay what else will be sweet Could you hear that? <laughs> Very cute. I like that. All right. What could we put in in these? I thought I saw something that Kathy had. The bird. Yeah, let's put this this bird of Kathy's. I don't know if you can see that, but let's load her up. Depending on how crazy the weather gets, I may, I may uh, not finish all of these on camera. I'm just finish a couple because I don't know if you'll be able to hear past all that noise. Let's see. That's pretty. This one. Let's try it. Okay, where's that long skinny? There it is. Get it? Okay. Will that fit in there? Let's put it in that. 
Well, maybe we'll put it in both. I love the thunder. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. Sometimes the lightning um, doesn't really bother me, but because we live on land with so many trees, so many trees, and, you know, they do get affected by the weather. Um, I keep an eye out on the lightning. Sorry, I rattled you a little bit on the camera. I saw it jiggling. Hey, those are really fun. All right, now let's put a few numbers in. I want to do a couple of numbers. And then I'm going to cut them out. Okay, let me tell you, this one was reading matter. I didn't tell you that. This one with the words, which I've used, miscellany words. I've used these. These turn out really good, even for someone like me, on fabric. I've used them on fabric, uh, just cotton, you know, to put some things. Actually, I'll show you. Got it. I keep my little stash right here. These are fabric. Let's see, different, different ones. So yeah, it works out good. Okay, so we have thunder, lightning, train. No dogs barking, but we don't have dogs, so that's probably why. But we are getting all the sounds, all the lovely sounds, the sounds that I love. Okay, let's go for these numbers of Kathy's and um, well, wait, first of all, that little bird came from Handle with Care. If you're looking for that, this has some really neat ones, and it has this one, too. A really neat label. This is neat because, you know, you can use it wherever you need a vine, but if you're making a postcard, which I have a postcard here, or a copy of a postcard that I made, if you can use that to, to make this line. You know, wouldn't that be pretty? Down a postcard like that. Maybe we'll do that one day. Okay, but what I'm using right now is sign here. And it's the one that has the signatures, which are super fun. And then it has all of these numbers and things. So let's get some numbers out on here. Here's one. It's fun. This off of here. Put this little guy here. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm a little off center there, and I don't know. Well, let's try another one. See if I can get it better. That's better. Practice makes perfect. And then I think we'll use one more, and then I'm going to cut one out and get it get it down on something so you can see again and I like this one get it straight okay now this this first little guy here I kind of went crooked but I think I'll put it down here and then I can put that 
And I don't know, this might be too big for this one. It looks going to be perfect. Oh, yes, the lovely sounds. Oh, I love it. I'm not going to lie, though, it makes me sleepy. There's nothing I love more than to go to bed and it pour rain, a little bit of thunder, and then a train go by. <laughs> to me, it's like, oh, it's awesome. Okay. All right. Very good. Now let me just wash these off so it doesn't dry too badly. And then I'll put them away later after the video, but I just want to get them cleaned. Okay. All right. Get some things out of the way here. Okay, I don't need this. Put it back. We have all of these we can play with. I'll do that another time. Oh, there's some string from when I was sewing, some thread. I'm going to put that over here. And now let's let's just decorate things up. I think I'll use my little pinks, pinking. I've got these tiny pinking shears. I got them on Amazon a while back. They came um, in a set of three. Had these teeny tiny ones. This teeny tiny pinking. A regular pinking, you know, like what normally you would buy if you just bought a pair of pinking shears. And then uh, I had a really large pink. Okay, I think that's going to be cute. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Once you get it glued, then that transparency starts to happen. And this is kind of fun because um, this has a little bit of writing on it. Yeah, I think that looks good. That's fun. How about this one? This could use, this is just a receipt uh, from one of my old receipt pa um, pads and then um, I don't know if you remember that I had a digi kit from somebody that was ledgers and so I printed the ledger on um, lab or uh, yeah label sticker paper and they just peeled it off and I just did that to make this just a little bit stronger so what would be pretty there? Let's do this one. You could use any, you don't have to have pinking. You could use your regular scissors, just cut out a round. Um, if you have those scissors that, you know, uh, we use to make the faux stamps, you could use those. You could tear it out. That's one thing that's different about this versus uh, actual rice paper is you don't have those extra fibers, so you could tear this. I don't know how easily, but you could. <laughs> oh, I just love it. I love it. Um... I'm going to just use regular scissors on this one. And I think I'm going to do one more. Or do I want to do more? Do I want to do this big one? Let's see. What would I put on this big one? How about... Do I want the bird? No. I think I want... I think I want this again. And... I think I liked it with the pinking. So I'm going to go around that real quick. And then I'll go fix dinner. I'm working on, uh, in front of the TV, I have a little table set up. Easy fold away table. And I've just got some scraps on it. And, you know, the other day I did that 
scrap project with the water soluble facing what have you and um so i just kept that table up and then so while i'm out there i'm uh where should i put that while i'm out in the living room i'm making more of those and i'm just making like little ones like i'm not making a full journal pack I want that. Hmm. I can't think of where I want that. Or do I want it on something else? Do I have anything else? I don't have anything else out. Well, let's put it down. Let's do it. I actually love what happens when you put the glue on. It makes it really transparent really neat I just can't figure out where it makes the most sense be right there awesome all right so we we made Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten labels, and then one here. <laughs> um, got those down. Oops. Get my trash out. On a few different things. And then this is the one that I showed you earlier that I was working on. So, awesome. That was really fun. I'm going to make some more. Um, and then what you can do is you can just store them like this and cut them as you need them, or you can, um, you know, cut them out and put them in your label, um, ephemera pack. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I haven't decided. I kind of wonder if I might even, I might take my, um, colored pencils and color in a few things. We'll see. We'll see where it takes me. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you're having a really good evening. I hope you feel restful. And um, just want to remind you that we pray blessings over you. And you're loved. You're so loved. And um, I hope you never forget that. I hope you have a really good evening and we'll see you back here real soon. Thanks again for subscribing and watching. We really appreciate it. Bye everybody.